Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. It's going to be in Photoshop today and what I'm going to show you is a cool background that you can make using any size picture for your screen resolution. <clears throat> now I just went on to DeviantArt and searched up my screen resolution and then the type of image I wanted. So what I did was I went and typed in 1440 times 900 light and it came up with this and this is a really 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 cool feature that you can do to your backgrounds to make it really pop out at you now this image I'm not talking about all the lights that are on it right now no we're actually going to be making a background out of a background so first what you need to do is go to view show grid and essentially we can do view ruler and then make guides and all that but I just find this easier for bigger images and with Photoshop CS4 I just find it a lot easier now right off the back bat I'm going to uh, go here and double click this to make it a layer now you don't have to make it a layer but I'm going to Alright, so we have 19 rows and, oh, I'm sorry, 19 squares in each row and 12 rows if I counted correctly. And you should get that on any 1440 by 900 image. Now, th this isn't going to be perfect because I'm not going to do it perfectly for time's sake. I'm going to kind of rush through it, but you can spend time on it and make it just right. So basically I'm just going to come over here and grab my rectangular marquee tool and you should automatically have the snap to uh, turn on by default and I'm just going to come into here and I'm going to do my best to make each size square as equal as possible. And I'm just eyeballing this right now but we can count five squares four rows that's 20 squares in each box and just go ahead and press control J to make it on its own layer and then we're gonna go back over here and just count another five squares this is what comes in handy with the guides because you can set it so you have a certain amount of squares in each uh, thing that you're making. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but I'm, I'm just going to keep doing this. If you get that error, just go ahead and click down here, which you will get that error. If layer 0 is not uh, clicked when you're doing this, you'll get that error. Alright, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to drop a shadow and we're going to be using a stroke and uh, that will show you the cool effect now I'm going to go here and then hold shift and go down to here and hit controller command G to group them and then I'm just going to go back up to view and go to show and take the grid off because I'm not going to be needing the grid anymore and then I'm just going to double click on layer 1 into the blending <coughs> options if my Photoshop will go sorry about that All right and so I'm going to check drop shadow and stroke now in the drop shadow set it's going to be a multiply and the opacity is going to be 30 percent and the angle is going to be 120 use global light needs to be checked um, the distance is going to be 5, the spread is going to be 40, and the size is going to be 20. Alright, and for the contour, we're going to leave it as is. And the layer knocks out drop shadow, we're going to leave that too. Alright, so in the strokes section, we're going to right off the bat just go down here and make our color white.
and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the size 6 leave it as outside normal and 100% and then just click OK let that happen and then right click on that layer and go to copy layer style and just paste it onto each layer paste layer style And this is going to do it so you don't have to do it over and over and over again. And I might have messed up on the amount of squares that I did. I might not have. It just might look different. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to do it perfect just for the sake of time. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way back up and just click layer 1. And go ahead and select your suction tool and press Control T. And now this is the transform tool, and you can make it go like this or that or whatever. Now the object that you want to really make is all different kinds of wonky ways, so it looks really funky. And you'll see what I mean after you do it a few times when you turn these it'll make it look like you have separate photo frames of each part of the image. Just do that for every layer. And um, yeah. Now like I said, I'm not going to be perfect on this. And you can also play around with the levels layer to really bring out the dark colors and the light colors if you wish. and uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now the background color of the back the actual thing see right here it's black depends on the actual color of your background itself so it can vary from black to red to blue to green pink orange all that so go ahead and go up to image adjustments and go up to levels now this is gonna be for each layer right now it's on layer 4 which is this one right here and the dark obviously means the dark colors in that layer the middle is just the neutral and brightness I don't want it too bright, I want it a little bit dark there I really want to bring it down and then the white is just the lightness of it all together kind of like saturation if you want to put it that way and then just hit OK and just play around with it for each layer and uh, when you're done just go ahead and merge visible all your layers together so I'll just shift down like that right click go to merge visible and go ahead and save it as dot ping or dot png I should say and uh, save it as your background and there you go it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do it the first time but as you practice and do it more then you'll get used to it and you'll go a lot faster so thank you very much for watching my this video please rate comment subscribe if you like my tutorials and I'll see you next time